This video is gonna be about the Snug Pack Softy Elite Sleeping Bag. Coming up on Survival On Purpose. Welcome back to Survival On Purpose. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. So as I said, this video is gonna be about sleeping bag from the folks at Snug Pack. It's the Softy Elite 3. This is a uh, very nice sleeping bag. You can see it packs down very, pretty well. It's what they're considering a mid-range bag. It's good from about 23 degrees to about 14 degrees Fahrenheit, which for those of you who are somehow still in that, stuck in that archaic metric system, is negative five to negative 10 degrees centigrade. The bag weighs just 56 ounces, which is about three and a half pounds, or again, 1600 grams. It is a grand total of 87 inches long by 30 inches plus the EPS. And you can do the math on your own centimeters because it makes my brain hurt. <laughs> okay, so, um, and it features a layer of reflectotherm metal infused barrier which it reflects the heat back inside so inside this thing it's got it's just got some high-tech stuff in it the exterior shell is made of paratex micro ripstop fabric the interior shell is made of paratex light which is a very lightweight fabric and has snug packs own softy insulation which is really great synthetic insulation that retains a lot of features of natural insulation including the ability to retain warmth when it's wet so I saw the uh, specs. I'll put those in the description below because if you watched many of my videos, you know I ain't really a tech kind of guy. So without much further rambling, hopefully not much more dog barking, we'll uh, take you down to the ground and I'll show you some features I really like about this bag. Okay, first of all, before we get it back on the ground, I just want to show you again the attention to detail that I've just found in every Snug Pack item that I've seen. This is the, uh, this is the stuff sack with the compression straps. I want you to look at these compression straps. They are captured on this end, so with a nice little sliding loop here, so you can bring them down nice and flat. But you don't have to worry about when you loosen this thing up, it's captured. So you don't have to worry about the whole end coming out, which is the case on most other uh, compression sacks that I know of. Then you got to try to thread it all back through there, and it's just a pain in the neck. This way, you can't mess up. You just pull it out, it slides down and it catches itself right there. Just a great attention to detail. Anyway, let's unpack this thing. Slide these off out of the way because they're captured up here also so you don't have to worry about them. Um, you got to open that one, okay. So you don't have to really worry about these things coming, up, coming off on you. Got a nice little cord lock here, open up. I can tell you when you get this thing, it'll be rolled in here nice and neat. Good luck ever doing that again. Um, I've stuffed this thing in here, so. Okay, so first of all, it's a mummy style bag. Nice Velcro closure here, and it's got the lip loop over zipper, so you can use them inside or outside. These are YKK zippers, very nice. Unzip that. You notice inside the zippers, it's got some binding here to keep it from catching the nylon, inner nylon, which is just another good feature. You know, it's not 100% foolproof, but it's definitely better than, than no binding. It does a great job for the most part in my experience so far. Um, then we've got the drawstring around your, your shoulder area with a nice baffle here so you can snuggle up around your neck. And another drawstring around your head. You can pull this thing up around your face if you want to in mummy style. So two just great um, heat management systems here. You can suck this thing up around you as tight as you want. Another great feature I like about the sleeping bag is it has a pocket, an interior Velcro closure pocket right here at your chest area. So you can put flashlight, um, you know, your phone, your, your watch, or whatever you want in, in here while you're sleeping. You don't have to worry about fumbling around for it outside out there. Another great feature that I like about the uh, Soft Elite series of sleeping bags is it has this it's called expand a panel system and you can see it's got another zipper here so you can actually if you want to use this this one here you can zip it up for regular if you need a little more room either because you're a larger person or because maybe you want a little more air movement because it's not as cold then um you can actually expand it out unzip it all the way down and you can actually catch this zipper on the other side and it gives you about another another six or seven inches at the top so 
very snugly. Also, the outside, you can see, maybe you can see the diamond stop pattern on the inside. It's got the, the uh, lightweight fabric. Inside here is the, uh, it has the reflector therm, which is just a great fabric that um, kind of helps reflect the heat back inside. And so, just a lot of different options for, for managing your, your thermal properties of your bag. And then, just, just zip this thing back up and I'll show you another great feature. Okay, so, speaking of managing the thermal properties, which has a lot to do with how much space you have to insulate, this thing's 87 inches long which is about seven foot and three inches. I'm not seven foot tall. Most people I know aren't. So if you're not as tall and you need a little less room to worry about trying to keep warm on, at the foot end, this thing actually has a great little, um, it has a D-ring on, on each side here. And then it has little clips here. So you can actually fold the, uh, the foot section up, clip it on, on both, both sides like so. And then You've just got about that much less space that you have to try to keep warm because um, basically that's the way it works. Your body heat keeps inside the, of the space warm, so the, the smaller the space, the less heat you have to distribute. And that still gives you plenty of room if you're, um, you know, smaller, not, not a very tall person. So just a lot of great options and features on this bag. Okay, the folks at Snug Pack were kind enough to send me this so I can show it to you. I gotta tell you, like everything else I've seen from Snug Pack, I'm really impressed. You know, it's about 105 to 10 bucks, you know, street price, which is uh, probably in the mid range, honestly, of pricing for sleeping bags. You can certainly spend a lot more. Um, you can spend less too, but I'll tell you, if you've ever messed around with like a Walmart sleeping bag, not knocking Walmart, I'm just saying, there's, there's a difference. And I gotta say, this is a very high quality sleeping bag. I think the price is an excellent value for the, for the quality you get in this bag. So anyway, that is the uh, Snug Pack Softy Elite 3 sleeping bag. They've actually got several different bags in the Elite series based on temperature range. Snug Pack does a great, great job on sleeping bags. That's kind of what, where they built their reputation. They are just really high quality manufacturers. And I gotta tell you, everything I've seen from Snug Pack is just first class. The attention to detail, like even just down to the straps on the uh, compression sack is just always excellent so i highly recommend it if you're looking for a great sleeping bag i hope this has been helpful as always thanks for watching survival on purpose thanks for subscribing thanks for clicking that thumbs up for sharing it with your friends watching those ads and thank you so much for shopping on amazon through the survival on purpose links when you do it helps the channel financially and i sincerely appreciate it once again my name is brian you're watching survival on purpose remember survival is not an accident so be prepared see you next time So here's how I pack it up.